Hello everyone and welcome to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. So today we are going to create a very good looking modern introduction text effect and this is the text introduction that you can use anywhere. It is going to look clean and simple and uh, since it is a modern introduction effect so it is going to appeal you as well. So first of all let's preview that what we are going to create. But before that I'm change changing its resolution to a quarter and just going to the first frame and previewing it. So this is the effect that we are going to create and as you can see it looks catchy and interesting and instead of the animate text you can add any text that you want it's up to your wish you can use any of the background image but I'm just using these as a sample. So uh, let's see that how can we create it. First of all, as we all know that we have to go to composition and create a new composition. Now you can name it anything and uh, I'm going with the, the intro modern so that I am able to identify that it is an introduction effect which is using a modern theme. Now I'm giving the frame rate of 30 frames per second and a duration of 4 seconds but our whole animation is gonna be of around three seconds so if you want you can just keep three seconds or four seconds that's totally up to you i'm uh, just keeping the duration of four seconds now hit ok as soon as you do that you will see that a new composition has been created the next thing that you're gonna do is import some files so uh, you all know that to import any file you can just hit ctrl i on your keyboard and uh, the folder from which you want to import the files you can just select that folder and import the files otherwise you can just go to file and here you will find an option of import and you can go to file to import a single file or multiple files to uh, import more than one file i have already imported some of the media into my after effects so this is the uh, background image that i'm going to use today i will share the link of the description of this background image with you all but uh, if you want you can choose any of the image as per your choice so apart from that i have also imported this mp4 file that is nothing but of an ink bleed that is going to be the basic or the uh, backbone effect in our after effects composition so i have just dragged it into my composition just above your background layer now you can uh, see that uh, what this uh, file is containing now this is the effect that we are going to use in order to just generate our background image as in our test composition you already saw so for that we need to first make some changes onto this uh, layer uh, make sure your uh, layer is selected right click on it you will find an option of transform so go to it here you will find an option of fit to comp you need to select it as soon as you do that you will see that the size of your layer is the same as the size of your composition the next thing we are going to do is hit s on your keyboard to bring up the scale property and just scale it up to around a 350 percent like this and um, if you want you can just adjust it a little bit you can also uh, bring up the rotation and rotate it a little bit to make sure that um, all of your uh, composition is actually covered by the black spot uh, if you want you can uh, just increase the scale a little bit more like this it looks good so as far as this is concerned i am keeping the scale value to a 417 percent and the rotation of about 94 to 95 degrees okay now you can go to your background layer to apply some of the effects in it first of all what we are going to do is make sure your track mat is visible and now you can uh, just change the track mat of your background layer to luma inverted mat now as soon as you do that you can just preview your effect and it looks like your image is being generated like this but it looks a little plain so what we're going to do is go to the very first frame hit s on our keyboard to bring up the scale for this background image to a 37 percent just keyframe it now go back to around three seconds in time that's when our animation is going to be over and change back the value of scale to a hundred percent now if you go to the first frame and preview it again then it looks a little bit more lively but that is um, moving too far so we are going to just change the value of scale uh, from hundred percent to around eighty percent 
and we preview it again so that looks better now okay so we are going to add some more effects and presets so we are going to search for an effect called tint and apply it onto our background layer as soon as we do that you will find that it has been changed to a pure black and white but that looks odd so i'm going to change the amount to tint to a 55 percent now as soon as i do that it looks a bit more natural which is what i'm going to go for the next thing i'm going to do is uh, go to effects and presets and search for an effect called optical compensation or optics compensation you will find it under this dot so just select it and apply it onto your background layer now this optics composite compensation effect is um, good and it is used to add a field of view to your image so I'm going to the very first frame and changing the value of field of view to a 30 and just keyframing it then I'm going back to around three seconds in time and I'm changing the value of field of view to a hundred now as soon as I do that it looks a little bit odd as it is bulging towards me so to just remove that effect here you will find an option of reverse lens distortion just click on it just check on it and if you do that you will see that it is now a more generalized effect it is subtle but it looks like as if you're actually going into that image which is kind of gripping and uh, eye-catching effect so that's what we are going to do with our background that's all with our background just uh, lock both of these layers the ink bleed layer and the layer of the background layer as well so with this our background is complete the next thing we are going to do is add some of the text so for that we have to first draw a rectangle so make sure none of your layers is selected and go to the shape tool we have to select a rectangle make sure that the fill is set to solid color and uh, its color must be pure white and the stroke is set to none that uh, these are the settings that i am using and if you want you can just choose any settings of your choice and drag and uh, draw a rectangle like this and make sure it is aligned to the center both horizontally and vertically the next thing we are going to do is add some text over this rectangle so just grab onto your text tool and add any text that you want i'm typing in animate now you need to just align your text as well to the center horizontally and vertically so that it lines on your shape now if the shape that you have drawn is smaller than your text then you need to just scale it up a little bit so that your text fits on your uh, shape perfectly next thing i'm going to do is uh, go to my shape layer and change its track mat to alpha inverted mat animate now as soon as i do that you can see that the text is now showing the color of the background solid layer that i have created and that is a pretty cool effect the next thing i'm going to do is um, select my shape layer and my animate layer and i'm going to pre-compose them when you pre-compose them make sure that move all attributes into the new composition option is selected and hit ok as soon as you do that you will find that a pre-comp has been created you can give it any name but i'm just leaving it to pre-comp 4 and the next thing i'm going to do is go to effects and presets and search for an effect called cc slant now you will find it under distort take it and apply it to the pre-comp 4 layer and change the slant value uh, to around 25 percent yeah that looks good now you gotta uh, manually correct its position a little bit around this so that it appears as if your layer of the text is in the center of your composition the next thing you are going to do is uh, grab onto your pan anchor tool and uh, just move the anchor so that it appears as if it is on the middle of your text layer and the shape layer because that's what we are concerned about right now the next thing we are going to do is um, move backward in time to about two seconds and uh, hit s on a keyboard for the pre-comp 4 layer to bring up the scale now change its value to a zero percent keyframe it move forward in time to about uh, 15 frames would be good 
and change the value of scale back to a hundred percent that's how our introduction effect is created and now the animation is complete we can just preview it so we just go to the very first frame and So I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. Till then, goodbye.